Okay, mm. so obviously I have no idea what happens here. Um, so we're just gonna go into it, seeing what happens. Yeah. Um, That's just so. Good... What do you think about this lane? Uh, uh, of uh, Sona wants to scale, and they want to poke. Uh, they, they, she wants to poke me, so they they don't want our lane to win the lane. Um, neither do we, though. I think it's just like. My biggest advantage on the Kaiser is maybe that I've got more range and I can, if she just walks towards me, I just W, walk backwards, give an auto, uh, an, an, an auto attack if she wants to walk out again. So I want to slow push the wave in, get wards, get plates, and just get her, give her auto attacks to pressure every time she's not in my range or wants to last it. So I can win the lane slowly and not all over all lanes. Okay, tonight. so uh, basically you hard win this lane. Like, you yeah. have massive range advantage. Uh, Kai'Sa can never really farm safely. Sona's completely useless early, to be honest, because you have much higher range than what she can kind of get into. And she's yeah. very squishy. Then at 6, you ult Sona and she dies every time. So yeah, and we got Ignite as well. Yeah. yeah, so that should be kind of your plan going into the lane. Obviously, uh, top lane is very scrap heavy as well, so junglers might go towards there. Um, but also, uh, you have more chance of getting a roam into bot as well. From no. there. So let's have a look what what happens. So we go for an early evade. It's not too bad, to be honest. Like, we don't yeah. have to be too scared. Like, doing things at level 1 is pretty good. Yeah, and normally do that with Ash because um, slow is enough uh, yeah. to force a flash. If you get, an, like, a W into consecutive autos on someone, then you're yeah. going to kill them. <laughs> like, oh um, yeah. On the other side, normally I just go on the top, su top sub side and just W in the brush, and if it hits, I just mm. run them down. Yeah. Okay, so how long do we pull? Um, okay. Uh, so, pull not too bad. I'd probably say yeah. your last auto should come out at 135 and then move. Okay. Just because then you get um, a little bit more pressure on lane. It's not too big though. Okay, just run it down. Okay, nice. Okay, so we are over pushing though as well. So these first three are okay. So what you want to do is you get them, which isn't too bad. You get the trade here. Uh, I mean, I get Zillion kind of mess up the wave. But here, yeah. like even this one auto there is bad. Because you don't want to be yeah. putting that auto because it's going to push a little bit quicker. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that the general idea, yeah, I know like the cheater recall to slow push the first two waves and then crash the third. Yeah, don't... I mean, don't focus too hard on that though. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to recall, but like, yeah. to not over push that I can punish them if they walk up and yeah. it's not on the tower. Like the like cheaters can be good, don't get me wrong, but they're very overhyped in a lot of situations, especially as ADC where the items that you want are quite big. Like, sure you could get a cull, but mm, yeah, you you prefer so, to itemize into your main items. Yeah, in solo queue normally I go for like. Try to if I can do something like a cheater recall. Most of the times I don't go base. I just push the wave in, get what's done, and fake a reset and try to hold in them. I mean something that can like work, that. but then you lose a lot of pressure. Which when you're playing into a Sona, you want to keep together okay. because she's going to be super strong late game. But at this point, she's fine. So here you do need to crash the wave. So we are keeping this wave here for a long, long time. So I want to push it in all yeah, the time. Yeah, he, here you not all the time, but here you just want to get a crash because it's just stagnating in this area. Mhm. Mm and I mean, it it like Zillion is just autoing like crazy too. Okay. So maybe just push in until it hits 6 and then let it bounce out to ult then. And not even until you get 6. Like, you, you can push in quite heavily, but even if you just push it in so that it'll bounce back nice, that's good. Okay. 
but you can get a lot of pressure on the tower against them because of your auto range and your W. Because your auto is a 600 range, it's really, really good for harassing on the tower. All right. Okay. You can see we are very, very gankable. Okay, not a bad trade. It's good for us. Okay, so... So see, because you didn't push this quite hard enough, now we can't reset. See how we're, we're, the wave is always in a really bad spot for us. So here, like, this is fine. But now just use your Q. Because you want to reset here anyway, right? There's no reason not to. So mm, like, yeah. get into the habit of viewing where your next wave is. So that you know where theirs is, right? So yours is here, yeah. it's a tier 2. So if the wave isn't looking like it's going to crash instantly and the next wave is a tier 2, then that means that you need to do everything that you can to get it pushed in. So All that right. includes using your abilities, everything. Like, you don't need this mana, right? Like, this mana is not applicable because you're going to base anyway. So here, yep. just use your Q, get it forced in. You'll see this a lot with kind of some, like, mid laners and stuff too, where sometimes what they'll do is they'll just, like, ult the wave. So you'll get, like, Vladimir. And yeah. Stuff. Sometimes I do it on misfortune as well. Like if yeah. I want to reset something and no fight is coming up or something. Uh, okay. So this is fine. We back away, reset. Okay, so we're not. Okay, so this is a bit rough. So we're not resetting that. Nah, we probably die. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see. So this, we're just getting really, really greedy with our recall times. Like, what do you need from base on your first back? Or what do you want on your first back? Yeah, I got it. I, I need a, a text with boots, I would say. Exactly. Zerk agrees, yeah. So you already have enough gold to reset, but we're not. So this trade here, like, it's obvious that the echo is coming at this point. Like, his bottom side camps are respawning. So see here, bottom side camps respawning. Echo full clears, which means right about now he's on crux. So right here, we should just get this cleared and just run away, and then mm -hmm. we're safe. Just run away, go back, spend our gold, come back. We've got cookie, we got pot, all we need is our bits. And then we come back, they will try and crash the next wave. Yeah. And what is also another really important part about if you reset at this point? Yeah, if it bounces back, the echo has to... Uh path towards top sides so she he can gank us when we come back yeah what else first what's the um, key piece of information in this scenario um i maybe the dragon is coming up that's one point uh maybe we got yeah and another point is i got berserker boost and it should be a cannon wave i think the next one so they which get... one which wave uh that one at the t2 uh no not uh, I, the general idea I want is I reset, I get Berserker Boots, come back before they can push in the wave, and then I can zone them off or yep. kill them. So this, they is, have a, this is wave advantage. 2, which means the next okay. one is cannon. Yeah. This okay, one yeah, no... is cannon. So now yeah. this is where you'd like to get pressure. So yeah, like recall times are like really, really important, especially when we have an advantage. Like if you are out CSing, like we didn't even, what was the CS at that point actually? Uh, we haven't pressed tab in quite a while. Okay. Just trying to find where you press tab. Mm, I don't We'll see soon, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so she pushed an extra wave in. So mm -hmm. she was, you were around about 10 CS ahead. 
Yeah. So the point of getting ahead in CS, like your CS doesn't give you any advantage instantaneously. What your yeah. CS does is give you an advantage when you reset. Now, this means that you can reset at different timers to what they can, which is the important part. Like being able to recall a certain timer and then abuse that is where it really, really matters. And then here, like, she's still in lane, so we can just push this in. Yeah. So we want to make sure this... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Your wave I thought is you always ward, your priority. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know that, but I just thought I want to ward, because I didn't look at the next wave. I wasn't paying okay. attention that it doesn't crash there. I see that she doesn't need help anymore. So I will check for the water. I, I think my, pl my my idea was to maybe try to catch the zone out there. If I, I mean, Q over there. Because I saw her moving towards my lane. I mean, it's fine. You just better use another pink. Okay, she's moving. Oh, so this way you should be moving. Because Sona's going to come around the back of them right now. Or I mean, she was looking to. Yeah. Yep, there we go. So, right here, do we have to, like, clear this wave? Like, we have prior, right? Yeah, I'm gonna bounce back. I'm not gonna lose if I move here. Yeah, so where we have prior and Kaiser is trapped under tower. So if we move instantly, as soon as we see that Sona go, right? Because we see her go like that, and we know she is now in this area. She is now sat right yeah, between that tri-bush and the fight. Yeah, we could collapse on her. Easily, she... yeah. And, uh, and you remember what we said at the start? She is extremely squishy. So she's here. If we come up here right now, we could just turn on her. She dies. Vile yeah, get that's... triumph. Um, you'll get... No, you won't get six of it, but... Still. Like, the, there's no need in pushing this wave. Yeah. And now when we do walk, it's like, oh, we're, the, we're at the same time as Kaiser now. Like, that's kind of crazy since she was... Um, pushed in, right? And also, like, we don't usually win to Kaiser. I mean, maybe we would here because... Well, actually, I don't even think... Uh, maybe maybe we would in that situation, but... Like, Kaiser in a one-to-one... -one, like, 1v1 one one with no minions around is really, really dangerous to trade with. Because all yeah. of her Q will all go on you because you're isolated. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we die here. Yeah, they're coming around. Yeah, so this kind of... Okay, zoom in on. Shame. Oh. Okay. It's worth... I'm kidding, it's not. No. Okay. So good that we don't use our ult. So now, again, this situation now... All we're looking to do is as soon as we see Sona, we just ult her, and that's it. And we just kill her. Like, your ult into double zillion bomb, she will die. So let's see what we do now. My idea is yet just to push the wave in and back off because like, Echo is hovering here. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's too bad. Mm, he was trying to reset. But yeah, but... We kept stopping it. Okay, so here you have to get this wave crushed in. No. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to use your ult efficiently to kill her. Because it's not going to bounce really? or You're just not going to have a long enough lane. Yeah. Like the lane right now is too short. So here, like just keep pushing. Just hard push. 
Like when you need it to be in, you don't want to stop autoing waves. There we go. And oh, now. Okay, so she actually came and held it. But it doesn't matter. It's still uh, still going to pull into us. Okay, now we don't move. We stand still. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's her exhaust, though, which yeah. is fine. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here, so this is another thing with your wave. What should you have done in this situation? Where is your support? Freeze, freeze it. Okay. Uh, you can't freeze it, but... Yeah, slow push it. In, I, I mean... Yes. I mean, Kaisa can't walk up to me when she's alone. Yeah, so you just let That's... it pull in. You don't need to hit it. Just let yeah. it pull in. And then push to me. Yeah, so. instead we just clear it away. So now it's like we've just got this big trade on Kaiser and now we're literally just gifting her the waves. Right. So one of the really big consistencies that I'm seeing here is that you you're kind of you're you have like a one track mindset with your wave. Like most of the time you're like, okay, I have to hard push, I have to push it in, stuff like that. But by doing that, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to actually get a lead. Like, right here in this lane, like, you should have got so much more on this Kaiser than what you have. But because that wave has been permanently pushed in, like, what was that? So, we're, so we're, we're 10 CS up, okay? Not too bad, but in this lane, we could be way, way higher. Like, we could have a lot more CS. Okay, now... Okay, they got out. Oh, maybe not. Jeez, yeah, we're uh, we're playing it a little yeah. risky, but yeah, just underestimated his damage. Yeah, I I died there and just I, mean, I think I press tap now and see that he's six one. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. And like the echo, we just kind of we we held flash. We could have just flashed from the echo. One thing when you're playing into echo, don't really look at echo, look at where his shadow is. Like that's the most important part. Because that's a massive part of his damage. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So one of the things that we're actually seeing here is even though this Silas is huge, we could have had a much bigger lead that could have potentially meant that we could de deal with him easier. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this is the biggest thing with solo queue. It's like your early game is by far the most important because that's going to be where you get your leads. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so. See here again, like, we're, like, we just ult Sona here. So see, she's up in the wave, just ult her. Now you can't because she's too far away again, but. Now we're just completely focused on farming rather than anything else. So like here, like God, she is doing some illegal things. Like right here too. In this situation, what should you be looking at? So right here, what should you be focused on? Yeah, I got a. They got a million more, so I can zone them off. I think. Hmm. What do you want out of this lane? Right now. I want to kill them. Mm, okay. Um, yes. I, I think I think the only thing I'm not sure is where the jungler is. Okay, but what um what what are you gonna be focused on doing in this lane at this exact moment? Um, What's unique to this lane right now? Yeah, not 
not push the wave, and if they step up, ult them. Yeah, okay. so what's unique to this wave that only comes every 1 minute 30 seconds? It's it's a cannon wave. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, you want this cannon, right? Yeah. Because it's guaranteed gold, it's a lot of gold. So does she. So right here, you should be looking to get this cannon lower. Put some auto, see, here you're not autoing, whereas you should. Auto this cannon low, wait for her to come for this. Because as soon as she comes for this, that's when we can ult one of them. Use the cannons as bait. It's super easy. Like, it will almost always work. Because ADs always want them. So get the cannon lower. As soon as she walks up, start a fight. What you're then going to mm -hmm. be doing is saying to her, you can either have this cannon, or you can retain your HP. But you're not going to be able to do both. So that's what you should be looking for here. Well, it's because we don't. We just kind of sit back and don't really do anything in that moment. She manages to just clear it away, and then that's it. And now we have to focus on farming. And now they get to go clear our vision, all this stuff, whereas they should never be able to, especially when we're in a winning lane. And like here, like... Okay. Okay, nice. Shame that Zillion got it, but... Okay. Shame that Zillion got that too. But now at least we're safe in lane. We can just push this out. And like, CS like that, for example this one here, we should never be missing that. It's uncontested CS. So, what you want to do is you want to do some more farming drills. So, just 10 minutes in practice tool, basic items only, and only last hits. Just so that you can train yourself up a little bit. All right. And, like, selling Doran's, okay, it works so that you get shield bow, but it, we should have uh, we should have been able to get it. We just missed way too much. Like 106 at 14, we've missed a lot of CS in this early laning phase. Which when you're playing something like Ash that's so dominant, like you shouldn't really be losing that amount of CS early. And then here, it's like, okay, Kali's already bought. Which, you know, is fine. We can go mid and play it safe. So now it gets kind of tricky because now we're getting into this mid game stage state and we're behind, which you never really want to be in solo queue. It's better to be even than behind. Yeah. I mean, ahead is always great, but you can't always get ahead. Okay. So this is very risky to walk up here. Actually, they're all up there. It's not too bad. Yeah. I would have put have back there if I didn't saw yeah. it. Okay. I mean, it's way better to get mid tower there. Like way, um, way better. Yeah, but I don't think we can actually because. I mean, it's very low, and you've got a cannon. Kaiser's top. Yeah. You've got ult. You've got exhaust. Yeah. I think you just go for it. Like, yeah, I don't know. So this is why you should never listen to people in solo queue. Like, look, the only person that's come there so far is Sona. Well, what was Sona gonna do? Yeah. Um, but I don't want to. I um, I wasn't uh, sh feeling safe, or sh so sure that I could. Kill the tower without the backup of Y, so I just move with her. Oh yeah, you could. You had cannon. Yeah, it's... yeah, I know. I I could do it, but I thought I would maybe die for it because I wasn't really sure when they reset it on top. I mean, I think we've got a ton of tools to stay. Like we're hovering towards this bottom side. We have alt. We have exhaust. 
This tower's a thousand, well, just over a thousand HP. Look how quick the minions alone are dropping it. 850, 800. So that, that tower was on about 700 when we left. So we could have easily got that, easily. So again, this is, don't listen to people in solo queue. It's, people are bad. Like this dragon is going to be worth a lot less than that mid tower. Because by yeah, getting but... that mid tower, we can push minions all the way into their base. Which is super yeah. important because then when Baron spawns, we can basically use their minions for vision going all the way down mid. And if the minions make it all the way here, we then know that someone is in their base. So we know that we have a numbers advantage for Baron. So this is why mid is super important. Like, even if you would have died for this tower, to be honest, like, you're not worth much at all at this point. So it's completely fine. Because you push those waves down mid, and then you look to Baron. And if, say, the Echo shows, you can finish Baron. If, I don't know, the Silo shows, then you can turn on them when they come to Baron. So you get a lot of information that you can use and to win the game. Whereas, mm -hmm. if it only goes to Tier 2, like... There, you know that there, this amount of distance is actually a very, very big amount of distance when it comes to Baron sieges. Or, or sorry, Baron calls. The answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm. And also, it means you get access to their entire jungle without them knowing. Yeah. Because, sure, with mid tier one, you can get access to one side or the other. But then they're going to see you if you come across tier 2. Whereas if you get tier 2, you can just go all top side and then into their bot side and take that as well. Means that they're not going to be able to ever come back into the game. Okay, now in terms of your build. Oh, unlucky ult. So why are we going Ginzus here? What's the logic behind it? Mm. Uh, could you just go back to the moment where I press tab in the base while I thought about it? Mm. Was it here? Yeah. 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 Oh, come just... on, so, yeah. um. Yeah, I thought we are still. Also, I, I think I thought um, it was like I needed damage because. Um, we are so far behind, we need to kill them if we get a chance. Um, if I go wit's end here, um, I don't have that much damage. Okay. Uh, I, oh, against Silas, Sona, and Echo, it's good as a defensive item, but um, I heard that if you're behind, you want to build damage so you can punish them for the mistakes they make and yeah. not go it, defensively. It's, it's more so that you go defensive when you are ahead enough to kill people and yeah. you just need to survive. Whereas you go if if you go defensive when you're behind, you're never going to do any damage. Sure, yeah, you'll that's... survive a bit longer but you're not going to do anything. Yeah. And I thought uh, Ginzus is the best damage output if I go it's Ginzus into Wits End in a second or Okay. So what else could you have gone here? I'm I'm not sure. I'll Phantom Dancer is an option. Yeah. So Phantom um... Dancer is very good. So what is the conditions to building Ginzu's and IE on Ash? Do you know? Not really. I just okay. prefer uh Rage Blade. Okay. So Rage Blade is more so for if you, uh, so let's say you can auto a lot in a fight, then Ginzu's will give you a lot more damage output. But if you can and you're relying on throwing your W and then get one or two autos, IE is always better. So in this situation, we are playing against an Echo, a Silas, a Kaisa, a Jax. They're all going to be looking to jump on top of you and do a ton of damage. Yeah. So... The uh, PD gives you a lot more movement speed, which is really, really good for you. Um, can allow you to dodge them a lot more. And then you get your IE, which, sure, you might not get to it, but you you can predict that at this point. 
Um, and then you'll be a lot safer in that game because you're not going to be autoing as much. So this is a game where you can't really auto enough to warrant a Ginzu's. Just all right. They're all going to be trying to kill you. They're just going to be jumping on you. So if it's just a um, standard teamfight comp with like two tanks in the front line and then Gins is good because no, like yeah. unless they've got like heavy that like if they've got something like an Olaf, okay, it's a little bit risky. But um, yeah, if if it's like conventional front to back comp, then Ginzu's will give you a ton of damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if they got a lot of gate closing, it should go IE. Yeah, yeah. if they're going to be jumping on you and doing a lot, then yeah, IE is better because it gives you more per auto. Uh, so even though you can't auto as much, it'll do more damage. Okay. Yeah, okay. So if I know the fights are not going to be as long, I should go IE. Yeah. Because they're going to peel me. It can peel me better and it does more damage. In yeah, a because you'll amount. have PD too. Which helps a lot. Yeah, and, and uh, I think better slows as well over my passive. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the kiting. Jeez. That's pretty clean. We'll take it. Mm. Zillion's fine. Zillion's probably the most annoying champion in the game. Um, actually, we just you just wanted to do half an hour, so I... it's okay. It's okay. Let's just finish this up. Okay, just wanna. That's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So we did throw ult a little bit too easily there. Yeah. Like we want to be holding on to that because that's our main peel tool. This is one of the things that makes Ash strong, is that she is uh, able to self build. Yeah. Okay, so. So let's just skip to per team fight, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm just spending my auto, uh, my W on yeah, autoing really. Okay. That's a good ult, just as he was about to hop back. Oh, here we were just way too close. So Zillion does save us, thankfully, but like. Here our spacing is so off. Like, yeah, we never want to walk up that far. We don't use our range whatsoever in this fight. So you want to be Wing, and then as you're autoing, you want to be shifting up here like that. But I mean, it goes right. Technically here, you guys should just rush Baron, but... The DPS on Baron is better with Ginzu's store. Mm, I mean, it's... You have Ginzu's second item instead of your spike on third item. So it can be pretty yeah. big. We should have done it here. Yeah, but we shouldn't do it now, I think, because we wasted too much time on Drake. I mean, Drake. I, think, uh, yeah. I mean, we could have used it to turn, but I guess we haven't reset. Yeah, my, my, my idea is to... So. Yeah, Atrox... Was, was going bot side and I was just like push the wave and reset and then maybe yeah I mean we push get, the wave again against we get items and, which is good okay we're in a very dangerous spot here Okay. So now we should just get Baron. 
Now we can push mid, just another team fight. So we win this fight, we push mid. This should be where we like to end, to be honest. Or I mean, we at least get triple in hits here. One thing I don't know, should I push the wave there? It does it more damage if uh, I push it? And... Yeah, I mean, it is good to just push wave, but I mean, the inhib is pretty big too. So it's it's fine just hitting it. Yeah, but I, I get it faster if I just hit it, right? Uh, like, if yeah, I got yeah, to be honest. With the, with the nash. Uh, actually, maybe not. No, you've got two cannons. So I think if you actually yeah. just push the wave quicker, because then you can start running away and the cannons will finish it off. These cannons do a lot of damage. Yeah. They didn't get the inhib bot. That's actually so annoying. But it's fine. Now all we need to do is push bot. Oh, does Vi get it now? Okay, nice. She does. Okay. So now we just force a dra uh, fight around dragon. We don't need the dragon. We just fight it. Okay. <laughs> okay. She actually managed to steal it. Pretty funny. So here in this situation, just don't bother. Don't bother going. Like the fight's already over. Just go push mid. Yeah, I was, well, I was thinking to end over bot lane together afterwards. Uh, uh, I mean, why. it's fine. Like, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, not bad. So, yeah, so I think the, the main thing that you need to focus on primarily is your actual laning phase. Like... We're, we're not thinking about what we're doing before we're doing it. We're just kind of automatically pushing and going for it without really taking into consideration what we should be doing. Um, and yeah, like make sure you're actually respecting the waves pulling back in and you're playing for those kind of win conditions, right? Like there was a lot of times this game where we had Ash Alt available and we just never really used it. Like we, we just kind of held on to it. Whereas in bot lane, when, you, when you're against a Sona, if she walks up into a really bad position like she was in this game, just instantly ult her and do a ton of damage. Um, but yeah, obviously there was quite a few things that we covered here. Obviously I do have it recorded, so I'll upload it to YouTube when I get a moment. I'm not sure when it'll be, maybe sometime today or tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'll stop the recording there.